conference to go to and I needed something business-like and I did not have a suit that felt fall because as you guys know this three the suits that I have are all linen or shorts and I needed something that felt like biz appropriate, and so I made an online purchase and I just had to come clean Emily approved but the, the thing was, okay, I can't keep everything, but I had to try a bunch of stuff on to see like what would work. And then I just ended up wearing something I already owned that was like not super businessy, but like a two piece set that I like felt good in. But yeah, that's what happened. I made a panic purchase from Eloquy and I have to be honest about it. I'm packing up the return today but I did want to try everything on for you guys, just in case you're in the market for anything specific. Um, so I am doing a haul today, a uh, try on. Um, and hopefully everything will go back, lols. Um, but yes, I just had to share that I broke my no purchase, but I made it very far. And like I said, everything is gonna go back and I bought it for a specific intention, which I would like to also let you know that I get extra credit because the Dahlia dress that I bought, the one in one out, I decided the color was too spring and I returned it. So I didn't even end up keeping that. We are getting serious about this and I'm going to be finding the best one piece in every category and I'm very excited about that. But for today, we are doing an Eloquy haul. If you are new here, you'll know that I've been doing like, sorry, that made no sense. <laughs> If you are new here, you may not know that we were doing a closet clean out and we still are. So there is a series going on right now. You can start back at the beginning if you feel called to clean out your closet and to only hold on to the things that make you feel joy, that make you feel like the most you version of yourself out in the world and release everything else so that it can find new homes and new lives um, and leave space in your life for new things and new experiences, etc. I do think there is a very... A spiritual thing about making space in your home and um, yeah so anyway we are in a process of refining our closets together and you can go back we go category category I really need to get it together today <laughs> we go category by category but um, usually I do more like style try-ons and stuff like that so we are returning with one of those today if you are uh, plus size like size 12 and up Eloquy has some really, really amazing pieces. I They say 12 and up, but I feel like most of their pieces start at a 14. But anyway, um, so this is going to be a plus size fall. There's going to be a lot of things here that are work appropriate, um, that are like great if you're, you know, needing things that you can wear to work that are a little more in that realm because a lot of the stuff I do I know is not necessarily geared towards those who are in office. So hopefully that'll be helpful for you too and let's get into it. I'm a size 16. Uh, generally, I think I fluctuate anywhere from like a size like 14, sometimes I can squeeze into a 12 top up to like an 18, depending on the brand, even 20 bottom, like all of our sizes fluctuate. This is a zone where we try things on in a safe space. We don't let the label define our worth or our weight or our size make us feel any different about ourselves because it's not us, it's the clothes and they run across the board and it really doesn't matter as long as you have things that feel good and fit. Um, I will say in advance, like one of the things that I bought from here that was a size 16 was kind of snug and I didn't love the way it fit. So oftentimes I shop there, I almost always buy a 16 and it always fits perfectly. So who knows, it could be my butt going up, or it could be their sizes going down. We don't know and it really doesn't matter. All that matters is that you buy something that makes you feel good and that fits. You cut the label out and forget about it. Anyway, so let's get into it. This is a plus size fall Eloquy haul. Ooh, this is so cute. I feel like a pumpkin spice latte. Uh, this is like a little ribbed sweater dress. It's not a sweater. It's actually more like a tea material. Um, this is the, I think it's either the 1416 or the 16. I think this one runs in. Let me see. This is a size 14, 16. I think it fits amazingly like a glove. She's really sexy. I love this. It comes in different colors. This is so sexy and cute for work. I was thinking how cute this would be with that leather Madewell blazer over it as like a full look. We really cute with boots. Um, I just love it. I think it looks amazing on. So if you are in the market for like a winter fall sweater type dress, but the good thing about this one is it's a little lighter weight. So it's not going to be as heavy if you get hot or you're like inside a lot, which aren't we all. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cute. I will link this one. I did want to note, um, this is the 1416. I think it fits perfectly here down. It feels a little snug in the arm, which I mean, it's not bad because it's like kind of snatchy and it fits, 
but like I'm just aware of how it's hugging my arms so I'm just like if you've got a sensory thing with that or I don't know I just thought I'd let you know but I would keep this but I'm not allowed right now because I'm very trying to be very cautious but it's so cute it looks so good on the bod so maybe this is helpful for somebody who needs it okay we have our next piece I envisioned this being like the fall version of that um, linen set that I wore to Nivea that I like love so much um, and I just I'm not in love with it I really want to be but I'm not so I didn't end up wearing it I think like the pants really do fit pretty cute they're I think they fit pretty well um, they're 16 they're like a little like roomy in the waist but they're stretchy so I think that's fine I think they fit well like I said it's the vest that I'm not sure about like it's just it's a little too boxy which I think can work on some people but I think for me being curvier I feel better when when something comes in at the waist a little more which I could totally get tailored but I just am like if I'm not in love with it we're not forcing it but you get what I was going for but if you are looking for something like this it is super cute um if you're looking for like a vest slacks combo which is something that I think as like a curvier person it can be harder to find that trend and I just tend to really really like it so yeah I just thought I would share this as an option show you at every angle Oh, I wanted to update that this is a three-piece suit. So I, I, the, w the reason I got it is because I envisioned this is a very cool girl look. It is nice. So if you do have an office job or something that you like to look more professional for, this is perfect because you can get so much mileage out of this. You can wear this. This would be so cute with like a long black satin skirt. This would be really cute over anything. Like obviously with a tank and jeans over a dress etc and like obviously you can style these pants a multitude of ways so I I love getting the impact of a three-piece set but getting each piece to kind of like fill that category in other areas is what I think is a great way to do separates if you're trying to capsule wardrobe a little bit so I hope that's helpful but yes they also do have a blazer with this which is really nice and I think they have it in other colors okay when I saw this suit I lost it and I want to keep it so bad but the pants just like feel like they fit a little weird and so I feel like oh, I'm so tempted to get this in guys I think I need to get this one can we just talk about it can we just talk about it it's just so good it's just so cool like I just don't this is just like such a unique find to have something split like color wise like this I love the detail that even the buttons are like the opposite color do you know what i mean like it's this is just so me but what i will say is that this is the one where i feel like the pants just weren't a little funny the blazer fits perfectly it's a size 16. it's the pants that i feel like run a little funny like they fit perfectly in the waist but i just feel like they're like it's the pocket like the hip like i definitely want to size up in these they're just a little snug in weird places which sucks because i'm obsessed so with your approval please comment below i feel like this might be one of my like more businessy options like if I'm going to a conference or speaking on a panel or something like I need more like wind obviously if you guys saw my two-piece sets I don't have and both of my suits are very summer I guess all three because one's shorts and two are linen so I'm looking for something that can go more into fall winter um and so I think that this is so good but the pants are obviously like too small so I think I'm going to size up in the pants um and keep this one but before you weigh in i have to show you the other one personally this color is like i think this like feels right to me because when i got my colors done they were saying that like lower contrast works best for me so like since these colors are kind of close together it works versus something that's like really light and really dark together however please hold because let me show you this they also have black and white and i want to keep them both so bad can i show you the shoes i have to show you the shoes look I literally have the perfect boot and I would do this because I'm like this. This is me, if you haven't noticed. So I'm obsessed and I very much want both of these. I'd have to size up in both pants, but I could see this one be more like formal. Like this one I would do with no shirt under and like button it really low. I'd probably do like a white hat and like cool earrings, and like make a whole moment out of it. And the pink and brown would be more like day. This would be more like dressed up at night because the black and white feels like super elegant please tell me i want them so bad so anyway since i am in the market for suits and since i had to get rid of some because i got rid of at least two will you will you just let me know if you are seeing my vision and if i can if you can co-sign if you co-sign for these suits or at least one of them please type co-sign 
Okay, Emily just told me that I could be Cruella DeVille for Halloween and Sparky could be a Dalmatian. <laughs> so like, can we co-sign if it's also a Halloween costume? Let me know. I just had to see Emily off. She's going to a fun little thing with her friends tonight. It was cute and she borrowed my jacket and I love her. It's fine. I just like get to like relive the glory days <sighs> through her. It's fine. I live vicariously through her. Um, okay, so this is the next thing. So just as like a heads up, I showed you those pants that were hella tight a second ago. Um, the color blocked pants. And these are the exact same size and they're like roomy. I think these fit perfectly and they're 16. So just for reference that the same brand, same size can fit very differently as well. So I just always like to remind us of that because first of all, the sizes are arbitrary. Second of all, it doesn't matter. You know, all that matters is the way it fits. So, you know, like when you go to a thrift store or like Goodwill or Salvation Army and you don't even look at the tag, you just see if it fits you because like it's vintage and you know that the sizes don't matter. Like what if we treated everything like that? Okay. But yeah, so I think these pants are great. Kind of want to keep them because I know that when we go through my bottoms, I'm going to be missing a lot of bottoms. So that's why I haven't really been wearing like pants and stuff a lot lately, like that aren't part of a set or aren't a dress because none of my pants are fitting. So... I feel like when I had the pants, they were all very, very tight. And I was like a low 14 at the time. So it's normal that they wouldn't fit, but I am like missing. It's a pretty big gap. And I really like these. They don't have a matching vest like the others, which I kind of wish they did, but cause then I could get like two fur out of them. But I do love the way they fit. This is um, like a little faux leather corset top, which I think is really cute. It zips in the back. Um, this is obviously not business on its own, but I did get a blazer. Um, I ordered this faux brown leather blazer. Where is it? I didn't order a blazer. I ordered a trench and I thought that this would be sick for that too. Cause it's businessy. And then the weather decided to have a heat like wave and it was way too hot for this. And so I was like, never mind. I didn't even try it on. So I'm like, that is not going to work for this conference that I'm at. But look at this and now I feel like I would wear this as a set like I would wear these with these pants this is sick oh my gosh this faux leather trench is the moment I'm obsessed this is not going as well as I thought it would I thought that it would be so easy to part with these things <laughs> and I'm like I need this faux leather trench do I okay let's not talk about that let's talk about the fit in case you are in the market for stuff so anyway this trench goes with this leather corset which obviously I mean, if you don't show any midriff, I do think you could make this work for something, but like this is a lot to wear inside probably all day. So I don't know, but if you did do like a faux leather blazer or even a blazer of this material, I do think you can incorporate something like this, but it's obviously up to you. This is so cute. I actually got matching leather pants for this to be a three piece set. So let's try those on. But I thought I would show you these pants in this context first, cause I think they're so good. I really love the way they fit. Um, yeah, they just, I feel like look amazing on the bod. Oh, I feel like I'm Chris Angel. I'm gonna do a magic trick at ya. But I also like that this is like brown. For some reason, brown leather feels less harsh to me than black leather. Um, so yeah, for whatever it's worth. We're back with the pants. I'm obsessed. They look so good. I thought about sizing up because there's a, like a snap here that I'm worried would like pop. There we go. Because I'm worried like if, but I feel like they fit so nicely that I kind of don't want to mess with it. Um, there's like a little room here in my waist just because that's always something for me, but I think they fit really well. Like they're nice and snug here, but they're like a little bit looser in the leg. So if I sized up, I feel like they'd have a quite a relaxed fit, which I wouldn't be mad about, but I, I don't know. I actually think they're perfect. I think they're like snug where they're supposed to be and loose where they're supposed to be. Um, so I'm so into these pants. They feel like the updated version of the Abercrombie ones that I know I'm going to have to say goodbye to, which if you know, you know that I had uh, leather pants the last couple of years from Abercrombie. I know that I'm a size up and I know Emily and I both talked about this. We were so excited to have leather pants that fit us that we like jumped on the board so hard. But if we were honest with ourselves, we didn't love the way they fit. We felt like they did weird stuff like here. And looking at these now, I'm like, I feel like these look pretty good. Like it's a tough material cause it's reflective anyway. But like, as far as they go on a plus size body, like I feel like they look pretty freaking good. Also, 
this um first of all i like how that they're like long they go to the ground on me which is nice if you were if you had less long legs they'd probably sweep the floor and even nicer but i love that they have these slits they feel like a little more modern because they are like a straight leg slash a little bit of a flare boot cut moment which i really like um and i also like that they're brown i have the ones i have from abercrombie are black and then i have like a pinkish tanny cream so i like this darker brown I actually may have had a dark brown from them as well, let's be honest. Um, here's the set all together. Do I look like I'm gonna be in the Matrix? I'm not mad. I'm obsessed. Sorry, this is not going how I wanted it to go. But I'm telling you, if this is what it takes to soften the blow of all the bottoms not fitting, fine. It's been frustrating. If you saw my last video, I broke down in tears and you know. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm here to remind us. We are still beautiful, valuable, cherished, incredible, creative, loving, talented, worthy human beings, regardless of our pant size goes up. Okay, this trench, just awesome. This full set, just so good. I'm really, really into this. It's just, for me, very hard to find these like sexy, trendy, like this, I wouldn't even say this is trendy because leather pants, and like leather trenches year after year, it's like something that's not gonna like go out of style and like you'll be able to remix, but it's hard to find more edgy, cool, fashionable pieces in plus sizes. So I'm just stoked about this. I love this. I love this so much. You know that I'm a sucker for a structured moment, a dramatic sleeve. These sleeves oh, are dramatic. I needed to steam it, okay? But I couldn't justify steaming things that I thought I was returning. However, I feel like everyone needs a shirt dress and this one is perfect. <laughs> Let me tell you all the different ways I wanna style this. Let me just style it for you in one of the ways in which I envision it. A black corset over top, number one. So cute with boots, sold. Two, sweater vest, sold. Three, belt, sold. Four, pants under, sold. She's iconic. Like, I bet I could even like tuck this into pants and just have it be a super dramatic sleeve and like tie a big bow thing around her. Ooh, I'm just getting, it's exciting to be excited about style again. And it's really exciting to be excited about style again, even when you're not feeling good in your body. Because it's like, I mean, I love, I love fashion. I love style to me, it's like wearable art. And I feel like I've been in this mode of kind of like succumbing to whatever trends were happening, the micro trends, like trying to keep up with all the little like TikTok girlies and the Instagram girlies. And like, I just want to like listen to what makes my heart flutter. And I think I used to be really sensitive that I have a very like specific taste and like a lot of people don't. And a lot of people don't have like, they don't see the vision or they also couldn't see themselves wearing it and they can't bring themselves out of their own like picture to imagine that maybe it would still work for someone else. Um, so I try not to ever shut down friends if they see something they love. Cause I've been shut down so many times and people will be like, uh -huh, what's that? Or like, ew, or like, oh, interesting. Like things that aren't really like nice or helpful, I guess. Like I think people like one little pocket of safety we should all have is like being exploratory with our style and our clothes. Like that's half the, like, you know, when little kids like, want to wear their little spider-man costume to the grocery store or their big princess dress to like go for a walk around the neighborhood like we shut that down way too early i think people like such a low-hanging fruit that doesn't hurt anyone else and is an easy way to play practice decision making practice self-trust explore how we want to show ourselves to the world and figure out who we really are is style so anyway all that to say haters come for me actually please don't but like anyway i'm just saying if i like it now i want to trust myself in that and i want to like experiment have fun so i'll probably like style this dress in many ways um i'm really into this so i'm gonna keep it sorry bye i got this vest with matching pants to see which color i liked better on me between this and then the other set that i tried on for you guys the like more like like white and gray and black one. Um, but I wanted to talk about these pants first. So these are faux leather trousers that have a pleat. So they're a bit more of like a relaxed cut. I don't think they suit me. 
Uh, I think they're too short. And I also think that the way the pleats go, like they just emphasize my whitest parts, which is my hips, which I don't mind, but I don't really get like the payoff of like a snatched waist. Like I just think they kind of look weird. So these are size 16 and they're quite, they're, they feel pretty roomy, like especially in the waist. So like, again, just speaking to sizing, like even size, even the same brand will have things across the board. Like I will never get over that one example I showed you guys of two jeans, same style, same size, same brand, inches of difference. <laughs> you just never know. But um, yeah, I mean, I will present them as an option to anyone who's wanting a faux leather trouser. They have like little buttons here, which are kind of fun. Um, they just aren't my cup of tea, but they're cool. Here are these, I will present them as an option. I do think that they would look great on someone else. I just don't feel like myself in them and they don't feel great to me. I think there's just too much fabric here. I'm unsure, but I'm gonna go with my gut and we're trying to return everything we can because we're not, uh, we're not in shopping mode yet, okay? I'm getting a little above, I'm getting a little over zesty. Here is the full pinstripe fit. I think I like it better than the one with like the white, the, I don't know what that pattern's called. It looks very familiar. There's a name on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Yeah, I mean, it's cute. It's fine. I like it. I could definitely see myself accessorizing this and making it cute, but I'm just trying to like decide if I love the fit. So let's break it down. Let's start with the pants. You know, I just don't. I don't, so we're not gonna force it. I did really want a suit kind of vibe like this. Um, I wish that those brown pants that I loved had a matching vest. I don't think they do. I will look again, because that would be my ideal. I love the way, the way those fit. Um, I'm just, I don't know. Let me look. I'm trying to like see what it is I don't like. I feel like they are just maybe a little too mid rise for me, which is great. I'm just really high waisted. Like my waist is high. So like for me, I think I like things that are kind of designed to be higher waisted. And these to me look like they're more of a mid rise because they sit right at the belly button, which is totally great. So if that's something that you know suits you better, like I know for example, Emily loves a mid to a very low rise because she has a lower waist. So I'm just like all leg and a very high waist. So I don't have very much torso. Wish I had a little more if I'm honest, but here's where we are in life. So I do think this is a cute option if you're looking for something like this. I don't dislike it a ton on me, but it's just not, not my favorite. I think this is a little shapeless. And if I were to keep it, I would definitely either like install one of those little like things that can make it tighter or get it taken in at the tailor so that it felt a little bit more tailored. But since we don't love it, we're not keeping it. And since we're supposed to be in a shopping freeze, we're not keeping it. But man, I am gonna be on the lookout for an outfit like this that can go more into fall winter because you know I love a vest and trouser combo. But I still will present these as an option if you're looking for them. I think it's, I think it's nice. This is something that I thought that I would love and I just don't. It's, I love the color, the knit looks really high end, the cut, like the, this like it's all really nice but for some reason i just like don't love the way it sits on me well i'm gonna fix my underwear and see if that's the problem but i don't think that it is i think i just don't like the way it fits it's weird because like it's it's plenty big i think it has such a fun like asymmetrical moment at the bottom and i could really envision it with like brown boots and I love like cream and brown and like gold jewelry in the winter. Like I just think it's so sexy and chic. Um, but I don't know, I think it's just, maybe if I did like shapewear under, I might like it better. I just feel like it's a little see-through and I feel like it's just kind of showing every lump and bump in like a weird way and like not skimming the body in a sexy way. What do you guys think? No, I don't know. Like I like the idea of it. I love the asymmetrical, it would be really cute belted. Um, yeah, I was looking for like a neutral sweater dress since I got rid of that tight short one um, when I did the dresses. They just didn't suit me. Like I wanted a basic piece that had some interest to it that I could style a lot of different ways, but I guess I could wear like skims or Spanx under and I might feel a little better. I also am just wearing like a bralette with no underwire. So I wonder if it's like the lack of supportive base undergarments that's getting me. I would love opinions. I could very much see a lot of ways to style this and I think I could feel really elegant and upscale. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure. It's like, 
I half the time I look at it, I love it. And half the time I look at it, I'm unsure. I tried this on before my conference for Sparky and he was like, he did not get it <laughs> at all. <laughs> Which, you know what? Doesn't matter. He doesn't have to. In all fairness, I tried the skirt on with this like foofy, sheer, tulle, purple, like long sleeve shirt. So it definitely had a different vibe. It's giving 80s like sexy businesswoman and I am not mad about it. Like it would have been great again, like I said, there was a heat wave that moved through and so I didn't end up getting to wear anything like faux leather for the conference. Um, but when I thought it was gonna be like in the 60s, I thought those like lighter suits and this, the pants and vests were gonna be perfect. But I got this just in case. I didn't know how hot and heavy it was gonna be. I should have known in all fairness. But like, as you can see, this is also a 16 and it's like quite roomy. So sizing, whatever. Um, but I do not hate it. <laughs> I love the slit. It's an interesting color. It's an interesting shape. If you are like a boss bee and you work in the office, like please wear this. I just think it's so cool. Like I'm not sure how I would even style it. Like I'd probably just do like a, I don't know what I would do under it. I feel like because there's so much coverage and material, like I'd probably try to like wear something that was like sheer or like showed a little more skin as far as like probably like a cut to about here tucked in maybe like a little tank or tube or something so that it showed a little skin to kind of balance out how much is going on it shows a little leg a little chest i feel like it's great and i would probably roll these up tiny um but yeah this is very cool it's a very cool color it's a very cool cut i like this like leather blazer on its own it's a great alternative um i shared one from madewell that's beautiful but it's real leather um really pricey if you're looking for a vegan option um at a lower price point eloqui regularly does like 40 percent off their total i'm sure they're gonna have a ton of really great holiday sales come up they even do days where they have like styles on sale for 19 dollars. so definitely check out their sales like they have great sales um i got all this on sale so um anyway i do like that it's like a double breasted moment here and i do like that it button so i could totally see like this blazer being a great option alone for someone same with the skirt if you were looking for something but anyway i really like this and i really want to keep it but i just know that it won't get as much wear as it deserves so just presenting her as an option because i think she's fabulous we're in trouble because i love her they are sweater pants in this like beautiful like cheetah material material pattern there the sweater the haha <laughs> i need coffee <laughs> the material is sweater um i gotta get it together i'm going to a breathwork event with my friend tonight i'm very into breathwork and it's this like wild event with like i don't even know it's like a couple hours and i'm like i don't know it's like a meditation samples i don't even know what all it entails but i'm just kind of out of it which i guess is fine but i'm feeling hungry Maybe I shouldn't do coffee before that. I just feel like a little out of sorts today. How are you guys feeling? It's been a lot. I don't know like what your belief system is or whatever, but I find myself very affected by whatever's going on, like in the moon, astrologically, etc. And I know we're between two eclipses and like, it makes sense. Like the moon does pull the tides and we are largely created of water. So I do think it makes sense that it might affect us, but I've just been feeling a little, not myself, a little like, just like, I feel like I don't, I don't know where I'm headed, but I don't feel like who I used to be. I'm like between these two spaces. And I've talked about this before, but I'm just trying to be gentle with myself and like take it one day at a time and like really be in the present moment as much as I can and not like over plan or overthink or over stress about the future because there's so much going on in the world and I'm just sending so much love to anyone affected by everything that's going on. And we're all affected. We are all affected because we are a collective and like, it is a lot. So I just wanted to send a gentle reminder. I don't know why, but I'm just feeling called right now to send a reminder to take good care of yourself right now because we can't do anything for others if we don't have the capacity to give anything. Do you know what I mean? So like whether it's like sneaking away for a bath or tonight I'm doing, like I said, breath work, um, calling a friend, moving, dancing, shaking, walking, nourishing yourself. Um, if you needed this reminder to even just stop right now and just take a deep breath, whatever you need, take it. Back to this. <laughs> I'm obsessed. And I just feel like this is like me. I feel like I'm like, 
I feel like I've dressed like I want to dress like I'm in like the 70s, like late 70s, or early 80s. And also kind of like an old lady, but like a hot, cool old lady. I don't know. It's just my vibe lately. I'm just obsessed with this leisure suit. I could see myself wearing this so much. And I'm sorry, but I love it. And I'm keeping it. Um, I feel like I did get rid of quite a few two-piece sets. So I just, I, yeah. I'm also going to be going through my loungewear. And I know for a fact that like... I have no more matching two-piece like sweatsuits that fit right now. Either they're too small, I've stained them into oblivion, or like they're in disrepair in some way, shape, or form. So I'm going to allow this to live in my lounge section, but I do need to get through everything else. And I'm very excited to reorganize everything and do a bit of like a closet refresh. It would be really nice to be able to film in there and not have to like destroy my living room every day. That's something that I am holding up for a little goal. Wish me luck. Oh, by the way, here's the back. Okay, the sweater <laughs> is iconic. It's kind of weird, and at first I was like, how does this work? And I may even be doing it wrong, but it's like, you can pull it here, and it's just like a like loose sweater in the front and back, but like kind of in a cool, boxy, like interesting structure way. But I was just playing with it, and you drawstring the sides up, and then I think you can probably like, tie it if you want them to stay but they kind of seem to stay um and then yeah it gives you just like a little bit more cinching structure so it reads as a sweater vest but this sweater is so cute it would be amazing with jeans faux leather pants a satin skirt all kinds of things um but it does of course have the matching skirt which you know that i'm a sucker and again it has kind of like a weird hem at the bottom which i'm really into right now I really like this. Um, again, I thought this would be great for the conference, but as I said, weather. So I think I was just being too idealistic about what I thought fall should look like, especially in California. You know what I mean? But it was central California. It gets colder there. Whatever. It's past. But I do still really love the structure of this sweater. It's super cute. Probably shouldn't keep her, but you know. I did get rid of a green two-piece set like this, but it was a tank. Do you like how I'm starting? To, I'm fading down. Can we just not talk about it? Can I just show you the clothes and we just won't talk about it? Thanks. All right. This one goes out to my babes looking for a cargo pants or jeans. Yeah, so I think that these are really cute cargos. They kind of like, there's like a pleat here that I'm unsure about, but they are really cute. I love the wide leg. The pockets are so good. I don't have very many cargo pants that I like. I have like one pair that I still am not 100% sure about because they have like a whatever the bottom's like a little cinch deed um so yeah i think these are really cute i do wish they were a little longer um also i feel like i don't know i feel like they kind of do do something weird here which i kind of wish they didn't but i don't know let me know what you think i have been looking for a pair but i think i might return these i do think they're really cute and it is really hard to find a pair that fits plus bodies nicely but i almost like wonder maybe if i sized up it wouldn't do something weird here but then would it snatch the waist as well Maybe then they'd be longer. Don't know. But in case you've been looking for a pair, we have made it to the end of this haul. I'm just wearing a random sweatshirt just because I didn't want to like, I feel like it's harder to picture sometimes when I'm just wearing my bra. Um, so I got these faux leather pants. I love the color. They're so pretty, the steep emerald. But I just feel like, again, they're just like giving me weird diaper body. They're like a little, a little big here, I feel like kind of. But I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing something. I love the idea of them, but for some reason I just feel like, I guess I could wear them with like a super, like not that I'm trying to sell myself on them, but to try to like see like how I could explain to you guys how to style them. When a bottom is bigger, it has more volume. I think it's like a turtleneck, something very like tight, a bodysuit, something that's like, basically the rule is kind of like tiny on top, big bottom or like tinier bottom, bigger top kind of thing. So just to balance things out, the same with showing skin. Like if you're showing a lot here, more coverage here. And these are not hard and fast rules. It's just kind of how I think it's easy to describe finding balance. If something doesn't quite feel right, that's kind of the formula that I use. But these are very cool and I like them. I just, I don't think that I need them. And as you know, we're trying to be a little more cautious, but they are cool. What? I am sweaty. It is 77 degrees outside which may not seem that hot, but when you're inside putting on leather, it is. Um, so that concludes this haul. I'm going to pack 
everything up and get her on her way to return. But I do hope this was helpful. I'm trusting that even though the first part of this arrived and was not the right weather and the second part arrived after I had already left for my conference, obviously I didn't have the use of the things then. So it was kind of a bummer. And yes, I definitely overbought, but I kind of thought you guys might want to see the haul too. But I also was like, ah, I was really torn because like, you know, we've been on a shopping freeze. So I don't really know what to say about that. It is what it is. At least I'm, at least I'm coming clean about it now. But I do hope that if someone's been looking for workwear um, and looking for any of these items, that this was helpful for you guys. I know for me, it's really helpful to see certain clothes on a body type that is similar to mine or to at least see them like in person try it on. It can be really hard online. So I've been missing doing try-ons for you all just because I know that you guys love them. But I'm going to try to probably still shop my closet more. Um, this isn't going to be a regular thing until I'm done with my um, closet clean out, which is coming soon. Thank you so much for all your grace that you gave me about the jeans portion. Um, we're going to get through it. It's just been, it's been a time and I am struggling with the body image stuff and it doesn't help when, you know, sometimes when you're trying things on in your size and like sometimes it's too big and sometimes it's too small and like, I don't know, I've just been going through it lately. So you all know that, but it's fine. We are all here. We're continuing to show up for ourselves and each other. And that's what matters. So take good care of yourselves. Um, let me know what you thought about any of these pieces. If you thought anything was uh, something that you were like, what are you talking about? It's amazing. Uh, let me know. And yeah, um, I will put a poll up now. Let me know which category you want next. Some of you voted on the last video, but I want to put like a proper poll up. So I will be doing that on my timeline. I don't know what you call it on YouTube, but there will be different categories for you to vote on. And then we will go into that category next with closet cleanup. We'll be revisiting that next week. I also have some items that were gifted to me from a couple random brands. So I could also do a random try on if you are in the market for certain fall things and you are finding try ons helpful of items that can still be purchased. I know a lot of you are disappointed in some of my closet try ons when some of the stuff isn't available anymore, but I do send them over to my Poshmark. So hopefully that is also helpful. And if you are new here, I hope you found this video helpful. My measurements are below all the links are below um and yeah everything should be linked up and shoppable if it is something you're interested in if you are new here it would mean the world if you would subscribe hang around we do a lot of plus size curvy tall fashion and just self-acceptance body love stuff like that over here as well as some fun vlogs and travel stuff and whatever else happens in any given week um so it'd be awesome if you'd hang out i'm alex michael may on every other channel tiktok uh instagram uh, Pinterest, you name it. So I'd love to see you guys over there, whether you're a new or returning BFF, feel free to send me a message. I love hearing from you guys. I've gotten to meet a few of you in the wild lately, which is also like my favorite thing in the whole world when I get to meet you guys in real life. So that's awesome. Um, as you know, I was just at a YouTube headquarter thing, which was really cool. So hoping to lean more into this channel and give it as much as I give to my other channels, because this is, as I said, my favorite place to show up and be. And I know you guys have busy lives and a lot going on. So it means the world that you choose to spend your time here with me. So I'm sending you so much love and I will check in with you guys uh, on the next video next week. I guess it will be on Wednesday. This should go up on Monday. <laughs> Bye.